what is living? It is very difficult to define living and conventionally various characteristics common to all living beings are to be identified. Some of them are listed below. A. Growth B. Metabolism C. Reproduction D. Cellular organization E. Response to their environment F. Organization Let us try to understand each of these characteristics in brief. A. Growth Living organisms grow by cell division. In plants, this growth by cell division occurs continuously throughout their lifespan. However, this growth is seen up to certain age in animals. Metabolism There are thousands of metabolic reactions occurring simultaneously inside all living organisms, be they unicellular or multicellular. All plants, animals, fungi and microbes exhibit metabolism, the sum total of all the chemical reactions occurring in our body is metabolism. C. Reproduction Reproduction, likewise, is a characteristic of living organisms. It is either sexual or asexual reproduction. Fungi multiply and spread easily due to the millions of asexual spores they produce. In lower organisms like yeast and hydra, we observe budding. In planaria, flat worms, we observe true regeneration. That is, a fragmented organism regenerates the lost part of its body and becomes a new organism. D. Response to their environment. This often results in movement of the individual towards safety. This helps to ensure survival of the organism. For example, we learn to avoid hot stows and busy streets. Human being is the only organism who is aware of himself, that is, has self-consciousness. Consciousness, therefore, becomes the defining property of living organisms. E. Organization. Living things are highly organized from the smallest part to the largest. On the chemical level, atoms make up elements. Each element has a specific number of electrons that orbit the nucleus. In the center of the element, the nucleus has protons and neutrons. The smallest part of an organism is a cell. Some single-celled organisms are free-living and contain structures called organelles that allow them to be self-sufficient. More complex organisms are multicellular. In the case of a human, cells are organized into tissues. These have a common function like a muscle. Tissues are organized into organs like the heart. Organs are organized into organ systems like the cardiovascular system. Organ systems functioning together make up a living organism.